Hi guys, how are you? Happy Monday. Today is Mindful Monday. And this is my new commitment to myself, to the universe, to you, uh, to bring a video once a week on Monday. So stay tuned as uh, this evolves. It should be pretty exciting. It's good to be back shooting video again. Thank you for being here. Um, today, I wanted to speak with you about the inner body, feeling the inner body. And for a lot of people, this can sound like a foreign concept, or perhaps you've heard this type of language in Eckhart Tolle's Power of Now or A New Earth. Um, it sure has become somewhat more mainstream than it used to be. Um, but I'd love to really bring it into practical, um, everyday, how do you apply this? You know, how can you really break this down and, and understand it for yourself? So firstly, uh, we have two experiences that are happening all the time. So we're having this experience, um, like I'm having this experience with you right now. I'm, I'm talking, I'm sort of focused on what I'm saying, right? Or we go out into the world, we're, we're having conversations, we're, we're doing things at work, we're with our families, and that's our external experience, right? That's what's happening around us in the world around us. We could also refer to that as the outer world, or I like to say the outer game of life. Right? And then there's what's going on inside of us. So this, this is where a lot of people maybe are a bit more disconnected or, or maybe just unfamiliar is a better way of saying it. Um, not as familiar with this even existing, let alone knowing how to connect with it and knowing how to really tap into the wisdom that's there. So for example, our inner experience is, say a guy walks into the room and he's really cute and your heart starts beating and, um, you know, and so what happens is that you would say like your outer experience is that a guy walked in the room and you're feeling a little bit nervous or, or a bit, you know, excited. Um, and your inner experience is that the heart is beating, you know, there's probably some energy swirling around in the belly. Um, there's a, there's an inner body and energetic experience that you're having. Um, one example. Okay. So before I go <laughs> to that, um, it's just, I, these are two experiences and they actually are happening simultaneously. So it's never that we're having an external and or an internal. There's always both going on and they work together. So how do they work together? Um, or, or why does this even matter? Right? Why does this even matter? I'll give you a, I, I find that personal examples when I'm working with my clients, it tends to really um, help when I use personal examples. Um, and so, for example, say my, my partner, he, say he hasn't cleaned up after himself and say, you know, there's been a day or two days or three days of that. Um, and it starts eating at me. And then before you know it, I start to get really upset with, I, I have a moment of getting upset. Um, and the moment could look like, you know, he's lazy, you know, he's not taking care of the house, you know, he's putting all this extra work on me. Um, so that could be one way in which that might show up for us, right? That external experience of somebody's not behaving the way that we want them to behave, and therefore we start to feel a certain way, and then we blame them for the fact that we're feeling overwhelmed or not taken care of or whatever it is. So that's one way. The problem with that is that there's really not a lot of ways that we can find a solution. So when we just work with the external experience or the outer game of life or what's happening outside of us, it's, it's challenging to really get to the heart of the matter. So this lesson today on feeling the inner body, this really can apply to everything, but for the purposes of today's video, it really is how do we move through our relationships, especially with our partners, um, so that we're growing our intimacy and that we're deepening our connection. And, and not only that, but we're growing as individuals, that we're beginning to thrive more and more because of these things that show up that seem like nothing, but they actually really are guiding us to something inside of us. So how does this have anything to do with feeling my inner body? So if my partner is not behaving in a way that I want him to behave, AKA not doing his dishes <laughs> or not cleaning up after himself and creating more work for me, um, what I have to do or what would serve the relationship, because obviously being upset with our partner, being angry with our partner, blaming them for being this, that, or the other thing, blah, 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 isn't really gonna help our partnership. And if our intention is to have a healthy, happy relationship, there's more that we can do. So feeling my inner body might look like this. 
I take a moment, I take a time out, I close my eyes, I feel in my body that I, I feel a lot of energy in my heart, I feel a lot of energy in my belly, and I can start to ask myself some questions at that point. Um, these kinds of questions can be, um, what is at the root of this anger? What is at the root of this feeling that I have in my body right now? Because the truth of the matter is, I'm feeling disempowered, right? Somebody isn't behaving the way that, that I need them to behave so that I can feel okay, and therefore, I'm not feeling okay. That's a disempowering feeling, especially if whether or not we're okay is dependent upon how somebody else behaves. So the goal here is to reclaim our power. The goal here is to be in control of our life and of our experience. So as I get to tune into my body and I feel my inner body, first of all, first and foremost, just presencing our, ourselves to that feeling. Okay, I have a lot of energy in my chest. I have a lot of energy in my belly. Just that alone starts to calm everything down. Just coming back into that inner body, coming back to center, that alone is enough to calm us down. But it might go something like this, as I'm asking questions, what's at the root of this? And I like to actually ask my body, body, what's at the root of this? Take me to the root. What, what's about, what, this is, what is this anger and this upset about? Because blaming him isn't going to make me feel better. And I might come across, I might arrive at something like, I'm feeling disempowered because there's something that I need to communicate with my partner that I'm feeling afraid to communicate. So it could be that my feeling my inner body shows me that there's a way in which I'm not speaking my truth in my relationship. And so my resentment isn't necessarily coming from the fact that he isn't behaving the way that I want him or need him to behave, but it's coming from the disempowerment that I'm experiencing because of my fear of speaking my truth, right? My fear of communicating something that I need to communicate uh, with him about. And a lot of times you'll find that that disempowerment comes actually from something completely entirely different than the situation at hand. So there might be that thing going on in our inner body, but we're not checking in so we don't really know. So then there's these things that are happening outside of us that are triggering that feeling and triggering that feeling, right? And if we stay in kind of blame mode and in that sort of external outer game of life, we're never really getting to the root of the problem. And so it, we kind of find it will continue to perpetuate and repeat itself over and over again in our relationships and in our lives. and so on and so forth. So the goal here is to feel our inner body and how do we do that? So here is three steps uh, that we can do when we want to get in touch with our inner body to find that place of peace and calm, to come back to our center and to get to the root of what's really going on so that we can actually find a solution. Right, so we actually move through things, right? We can reclaim our power in moments where we're feeling a, a loss of power, or disempowered. So the first one would be noticing that you're irritated, noticing that you're upset, noticing that you're in pain, noticing that you're, you're feeling something, right? Just noticing it and, and just notice that there's a tendency to wanna to blame it on something, right? There's a tendency to go, I'm feeling this way because of him or her or that thing or that thing or this place or whatever, right? We wanna blame it on people, places, and things. Just notice the tendency to do that. Then uh, step two is have some curios curiosity about it. What if this actually comes from something different? What if it's coming from within? And start to ask, you know, what is actually at the root of this? You know, close your eyes, giving yourself a moment to check in. You know, feel your body, feel the energy in your chest, feel the energy in your tummy, feel the energy in your back and your throat. Just noticing what you're feeling. That's all you have to do. You don't have to be an expert at this. There's no way that you can get it wrong. Just Feel your inner body, just feel it. And you can do that now. You can close your eyes and feel your inner body. Starting to ask questions, take me to the root of this body. What is it that you'd like me to know? What, where is this feeling really coming from? Right? And you might not get the answers right away, but just asking the questions are powerful. Questions are so powerful, right? We may not get the answers right away. We may not get them in the form that we think but they will come. So getting into the practice of checking in, tuning in, feeling the inner body, asking the questions, letting it go, um, trusting that you've planted the seed. Um, so, uh, so 
so so really it's just a it's a very small process it's so simple that we that we tend to miss it or we tend to take for granted the power of it so my challenge for you today is to notice when you're getting irri irritable, restless, discontent, frustrated, afraid, whatever, whatever, or noticing when there's um, something happening in, in one of your relationships at work or at home that doesn't really feel good for you inside and you, and you just become aware that this kind of outward trying to resolve things doesn't really always work, right? And if you can notice that, maybe you would be interested in finding another way. Right, taking that moment, closing your eyes, feel the energy in the body. What are you feeling? Where is it? Start to ask some questions. Where is this coming from? What is the root of this? So if you guys are interested in knowing more, I would love to elaborate. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Please post them below. And if you have experience feeling your inner body and, and the power of that and how this has helped to transform your life and transform your relationships, I would love for you to contribute to this conversation. Let's get a groovy conversation going. Um, I love sharing and when everybody kind of comes together and shares their experience, it is a powerful, wonderful thing. So also, if you like this video, I'm going to be doing more every single week, every single week, every single Monday, Mindful Mondays. Uh, please take a moment to let me know, and I will see you again next Monday. And you can subscribe to this channel if you want more, 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 or please share it with your friends if you think that they will too be impacted. So have a wonderful day, have a wonderful evening, a wonderful week, and I will see you soon. Namaste.